Hi, I'm Roxanne Emmerich. If you haven't heard of me, I'm the president of the Emmerich Group, where we work with banks to get them and keep them in the top 5% of performers. You may have read Extraordinary Banker magazine that I founded, or several of my books, including Profit Growth Banking, Proper Rich Sales, or the New York Times bestseller, Thank God It's Monday. If I look familiar, you may have heard me keynote at ABA, BAI, or any of the 2,000 meetings I've keynoted at over the, over the last 20-some uh, years. I am also the founder of the new Banky Awards, featuring the top banks in the country to tell the story of the impact that they make on their communities and stop having bank be a four-letter word. Although we get involved in many areas to transform results of our clients rapidly, the three key areas where we're usually asked to help include to grow loan demand with the right clients by identifying and creating an easy path to the safest and most profitable 100 prospects in your market, to increase the net interest margin by 20 to 30 percent by creating profit-rich differentiation and engaging your people to follow an integrated marketing and sales system. But you've probably heard about our one-day kick-butt kickoff process where we transform the culture of a workplace to a thank God it's Monday cause. And many of our clients have doubled their customer service scores in 60 days after that, increased their cross sales from 20 to 300 percent, and many have more organic growth in the next few months than they had in the previous five, ten years combined. The reason I want to talk to you today is I wanted to highlight some of the issues that are hitting executives currently. I see three big areas of concern. How to get lenders back to prospecting for loans instead of having the excuses of regulation and loan cleanup. How to create meaningful differentiation to command premium pricing and to grow net interest margin and how to stop the order taking, especially at the moment of the first call, where you have a chance to stop their shopping. Let's work on that last one today. I believe strongly that banks that are high performing have high performance systems, and their people don't just comply, they love the systems because the results are there and celebrated. They see rapid results and they get reinforced often. There are five steps to the commercial and trust sales system but we're going to cover the first of the seven-step retail sales process. You can expect that 80 to 90 percent of the deals that would have gone elsewhere stick, and they stick at premium pricing when you get your people to consistently follow the seven steps. So let's get started. First, understand that the last time we did research, over 93 percent of the time, when a prospect calls a bank for a product and asks for a rate, they get just that, a rate, with no attempt to help, but what an opportunity for you. The best way to stop that drain is to get those leads that are calling you to not just dial you for rate, but to break their preoccupation with rate at the moment that they call. Let me give you a few examples. Our rates are competitive, but let me ask you, are you looking for the best mortgage rate or the best overall value? There are over 300 different configurations of how to put a mortgage together, and we find most people have the wrong mortgage configuration and therefore end up paying too much. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions to find out how to save you the most money and decrease the risk of getting into the wrong mortgage? That's it. How could they possibly ask for rates at that point? You've just elevated their consciousness about the complexity of the buying decision, and you're the only one on the phone that day who is offering to navigate them through that complexity and to save them money. Now, before we do a few more examples, let me give you the magic formula. A break preoccupation with rate question has three elements. First, you let them know that you're in the ballpark on pricing so they can release that anxiety. Then you must ask a question that has the word rate before the word value. The purpose for this is that you must transform the focal point to one that they really should be looking at. There are thousands of homeowners who have been scammed over the years with the best rate, and they're in foreclosure or have lost their homes. There is a mountain of evidence proving your wisdom is necessary to help them making make the right decisions and, and to make sure they don't make a drastic error here. Then you must give them a reason to believe that there is a difference between rate and value, such as there are hundreds of different configurations, which implies that they better take seriously the need to sort out the different decisions. So let's try this on several different product lines. If you sell insurance, you know they dial for dollars asking for pricing. What if you stopped them in their tracks and said, our pricing is very competitive. We do find, though, that most people are usually underinsured in some areas and overinsured in others, causing a lot of unnecessary risks and overpayments. Do you mind if I ask you some questions to make sure that we have the right coverage for you? And then I'd be happy to do the work for you and shop around with different insurance companies, at least five of them, to get you the best overall value. Who could say no to that? And the best part is, 
Just like with the mortgage question, it's true. These decisions are complex, and they do come to you to be a trusted advisor. It is your ethical obligation to make sure that your clients get the exact right products, coverages, and configurations. Let's try one more, the CD inquiry. Using our formula, it looks like this. Our rates are always competitive. Let me ask you this. Are you looking for the best rate or the best value? Because they're usually not the same. There are a lot of ways to put together CDs these days. You can add to some, change rates on others, and you can pick maturity dates if you choose, just to mention a few of the options. Do you mind if I ask you some questions to make sure we help you create a CD portfolio that has the maturities and requirements that help you get your results in the fastest possible way? Bam! What can they say to that? If they are still asking for rates, give them the rates and let them go. Over 80% of bank clients are unprofitable, and you don't need another one of those. But what you do want is an introduction to them to open up to a relationship so you can start to ask them what I call the pyramid questions to figure out how to delegate certain monies to their financial freedom account, their emergency account, and different entities for each long-term savings account dedicated to different purposes. You can show them how to ladder their CDs to those needs and then get them to roll over the CDs that they have in other institutions when they come due so they can be managed by you with this plan tied to outcomes. So to repeat, the formula is to take away their anxiety by assuring that you are in the ballpark. You then ask a question, and it must be a question, not a statement. The question must have the word rate before the word value, and then you must give them a reason to believe there is a difference between rate and value. Then you ask if you can ask more questions so you can start the relationship. Pretty easy. You start with the next questions then that you normally would roll, roll into and those you next. You start six. with the next questions of the series of six to make sure that you stick with a system to take them all the way through the process to get all of their business. Yes, it's true. We've had banks go from a 120% loan to deposit ratio to calling us saying that they have all the deposits that they could handle within two months using this formula. It works, and it works quickly, and it helps you in three critical areas, growth, net interest margin, and cross sales. And of course, this is just the first step of the seven steps of the retail sales process, but it is a very important one. The retail sales process is just one of our 27 systems we regularly put in place for banks to help them create not just breakthroughs, but consistency of breakthrough performance. I hope you found a lot of value in what I just shared. And I know that if you apply these techniques, they will work for you. If you would like to do more, I invite you to call my office or visit our website at emerickfinancial.com.